greetings and salutations from beautiful West Palm Beach, Florida. Bah, 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 bah. Welcome back to my channel. I recently picked up some new kicks that I'd been eyeing for a while, only hesitating because I couldn't find any solid reviews on them. So I figure I can't be the only one who wants to know more about these Jordan 1 High Elevate in Summit White, Coconut Milk, and Varsity Red, especially since these are women's shoes. So let's talk about it. Jordan brand has been remixing the women's version of the Jordan 1 for years now. Some styles have been a hit, while others, eh, not so much. Meanwhile, the platform sneaker has been trending for the past few years, trickling down from the runway to the streets with all of the major players getting in on the action. It only made sense for us to eventually see the classic Jordan 1 reimagined with its own version of the popular Chunky Soul. They've been releasing a low version of this in a variety of colors for the past year, but it's finally time for the beloved high to get some shine. Initially showing off four colors, Varsity Red, Dark Ash, Desert Sail, and Titanium, with the promise of even more colors down the pipeline. Now, let's get down to the nitty gritty and talk about this Varsity Red pair, covering what I like, how I'm styling them, and ultimately, whether I'd recommend them. Now, let's start by taking a closer look at the key gimmick, the Platform Sole. It's an interesting take on the traditional Jordan 1 sole, as its chunky nature makes the entire shoe appear wider than your normal Jordan 1. Though they don't seem to feature any additional tech in the soles, they feel comfier than your standard high OG. When I initially saw them, I instantly thought of the Rick Owens and Converse turbo weapon. As you see, the turbo weapon is still king as it towers over the Elevate. Still, the Elevate holds its own and gives off a rig vibe with its side zipper for easy access. The zipper was actually one of the things that made me say, hmm, I might need these. They also feature a full leather upper with a really comfy soft fabric interior which makes them very, very cozy on foot. The logos are remixed, starting with the Signature Wings logo. It's embossed and raised but lacks the usual line work inside the logo. They apply the same design language to the tag on the tongue, opting to trade the usual fabric Nike Air tag with a blank raised box in its place. All of these little tweaks combine to give us a unique take on a recognizable silhouette. Now, if we're talking about styling a pair of platform Air Jordan 1s, you know I'm gonna have to show off the five different pant types once again. These are as versatile as your regular Jordan one with the platform adding a little bit of edge to your outfit. Now, if you watch any of my videos, which I feel like I say in every video, like I have a hundred videos, but anyway, if you watch any of my videos, you know if there's a platform, there's gonna be a flare. This time around, I paired them with my Banana Republic Factory, I know you haven't heard that in a while, boot cut trousers in black. I love my Jordan 1 with my boot cut slash flare type pants, but the platform is the star of the show. You mostly see the sole with a little bit of the toe box peeking out. Next up, we, <clears throat> next up, we pull, mm, my fuck. Next up, we pulled out the Subi and Juice World Van Winkle collaborative jeans. The denim stacks just right on top of the kicks, and unlike the boot cut, they really give the full shoe some room to shine. You can see just about every detail since the ankle taper allows the denim to sit right at that ankle collar slash tongue. Now, I wouldn't be South Florida ready if I didn't show them off with a pair of shorts, and of course, I'm going to reach for my fave, the Rick Owens and Champion dolphin boxers. Paired with some clean white crew socks, they function as a solid alternative to your usual Ramones and Geo baskets. Now for a more traditional straight leg look, I went with my Levi's and Grateful Dead 501s. The medium blue color is the perfect pairing for the varsity red and white upper on this Air Jordan 1 Elevate. I had these altered so they lay right over the top of my shoes. My favorite part about these jeans though is the stylized dead printed right on the the upper thigh. Last and most certainly not least, the wide leg, once again, the Subi and Juice World. this time the anti-K style denim. As you can see, this is another incredible pairing. Once again, the focus is squarely on the chunky platform sole and the toe box. With the full leg like this, the focus is always on the cut of the denim, but the all over graphics give it that added little punch. Now, though I find these to be incredibly versatile, there are a few 
things that I took issue with. The materials are okay at best. If you've watched any Rose Anvil video, you already know that Nike is notorious for using budget materials and passing them off as premium. I personally feel like the leather on these isn't quite as bad as the plasticky and stiff filling leather on the Nike Dunk, but they're also not quite as nice as the pebbled leather used on most of the Jordan 1 High OGs. Now I understand the conundrum here as this is a very niche model and it could either do really, really well or totally flop. And the price point plays a really significant role in kind of deciding whether or not people are going to buy this. At $180, I just don't know if people would lean into this quite as much. But at $145, I think that's the sweet spot for something like this. Adding that upgraded leather onto the shoe may have driven the price point up a little too much. But with that said, I would have gladly paid about $180 for these to get that real Jordan 1 OG feel on the leather. As much as I love the idea of the zipper on the side of these, in reality, it's not a great zipper. It's rather thin and can be difficult to zip. Knowing that these are going to be some people's daily drivers, I think Nike should have put a better zipper on them. And I can definitely see people having some issues with the zipper after some extended wear. Now, one last nitpick that I have is the lack of additional laces, actually. Though the included Varsity Red pair is totally fine and works perfect with this shoe, I still would have loved to have seen maybe a white pair or a black pair. I don't really need both, but a black pair or white pair would have really come in handy and made these shoes that much more versatile. Overall, after wearing these for the past few days, I want to say, I mean, I've been wearing them for about a week. I'd say I, I would definitely recommend this shoe. It's a unique take on the classic Jordan 1 and then it can add a little bit of variety to your rotation. It's comfy and it's stylish enough to be your daily driver. Though there are a few things that I would have changed about them, I suggest you give them a try. Now, keep in mind that these are women's sneakers and women's sneakers are one and one half sizes smaller than men's sneakers. So make sure you buy them one and one half to two sizes larger than what you normally wear. For example, I'm typically a nine and a half or a 10 and I got an 11 and a half, uh, which I probably could have gone a little bit smaller because they do run pretty much true to size. And when I say pretty much true to size, I mean whatever normal size you buy in a men's or or let's say neutral unisex Air Jordan one, but coated in men's sizes, buy that size in these. I hope that if you were on the fence on purchasing these like I was, uh, that this video really helped you make a decision one way or another, but I hope it was helpful because that's essentially why I decided to make this video because I could not find anybody giving any real information and showing any kind of styling with these. And I just wanted to see what the vibe was going to be with them. If you haven't already checked out my latest video on gatekeeping, please click them cards. Check that boy out up here somewhere. Bang, bang, bang. It's kind of popping off right now. So if you haven't already watched it, go watch it for me. Leave your boy a like. You feel me? Leave your boy a liking 10. You know, let, let the streets know. Let the algorithm know that you fox with your boy. You feel me? No candle in the shot today because I just could not fit it. This, this shot is so tight and compact right now. I'm praying that this comes out well, but no candle. But you know, I'm always banging the boy smells. Right now, I'm rocking with the purple kush. I'm rocking with the, what is it? The one, the Casey Musgraves one. Um, 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 uh, I can't think of the name of it, but the Casey Musgraves one, I'll fix it in post. And of course, the Cameo. Cameo is always a banger for me. Check out Boy Smells. They do not sponsor this channel in any way. I'm too small to have a sponsor anyway, but they don't sponsor this channel in any way, shape, form, or fashion. I just think if you're trying to get into candles and you don't know where to start, Boy Smells is a banger. You feel me? So go copy some Boy Smells. And while I'm shamelessly plugging, if you rock with this video or any of my other content, number one, click the like button on this boy right here. You know what I'm saying? And if, if, if you really banging with me, if you really rocking with your boy, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you like, yeah, I want to see what this man does next because I'm vibing with his content. Click that subscribe button, fam. It's right there, that little box right there. Click that subscribe button. Let, let, let the streets know that you rock with your boy. Let me know. You know, I'm trying to put out content a little bit more often. I'm trying to find a little bit more time to give y'all that content. You feel me? Bang, bang, bang. Coming through with that energy. You know what I'm saying? You can follow me on Instagram, of course. 
always, you know, you can follow me on Instagram. You can DM me on Instagram if you want to chat. You feel me? Just let me know you banging with your boy. You know, that's all. Like a couple of my photos. Be like, hey, 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 bro. That that fit you wore to work yesterday was hard. Anyway, beyond all that, rock with me over there. And if you're feeling really frisky and you really want to know when I'm dropping something new, turn on them post notifications, baby. I got you. I got you, you feel me? Anyway, man, hey, I got a couple more videos in my head lined up. I'm working out the scripts on them. It's gonna be some really fun stuff. We might revisit the holidays a little bit. I might, it might be Christmas in January. I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna do that video next or if I'm gonna do, um, if I'm gonna save that for next year during the holidays. We gonna see, we gonna see. I might drop that. But I got a couple other things on the pipeline, so I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready to hit it. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to drop. So let your boy know, man. Turn them, turn them notifications on, you know what I'm saying? Until next time. Peace.